good action coming up right at uh, right at you with we have CLG, CLG Boy going up against Best Nets. Now, Best Nets coming Since, in from Utah. I'm telling you, man, I, we both remember GTX. Oh, yeah. That was a tournament in oh, yeah. Best Nets. I mean, he showed out in both doubles and singles, right? This was a guy who truly got the crowd behind him. Just... It was, it was just the way he just plays, right? It's just like his rhythm. He looked up to his name that day. Exactly, how fluid he was. I mean, it was just, it was a sight to behold. I mean, I remember him and his boy actually uh, surprised elimination in doubles, taking out the cat and boy. That was a, a tremendous win from there. And I think from there, uh, you just saw Best Ness start to flourish. So it's, it's very interesting to see him back in the major scene and we can see what he'll be able to do against somebody like Void man this is a guy who again we just had the whole story of Void and, and you know what he's looking to do throughout this tournament season well things don't get any easier at big events like this especially as we get deeper and deeper into this bracket man and best Ness really putting on display just why this guy kind of wears that title uh with pride if you will yeah i mean and to be real like i'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what the what the crowd is going to go for here because you know Utah obviously not Nevada, but still close enough for I feel like them to be very close. But at the same time, you have Void who has such a solid man, fan base. I feel like this one's cut right down the middle, as the gameplay is kind of looking like it might be the same way if Void is able to add up some more of this damage onto Best Dance. He's already got him at 91, but look at this, bringing it right back. Oh no, not where he wanted to be. We should have brought it back a little bit more. Yeah. Mr. Reeled that in because Best Ness out here fishing for stocks and he definitely got himself one. Yeah, I feel like Void, you know, he was looking for. Okay. Right. <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> definitely <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the super early back throw right there. It gets to 11% regardless, so damage is damage, as we like to say. Definitely. Definitely. And, you know, it's, it, the interesting thing about this is we know that there's just no shortage of uh, experience versus Ness on the part of Void. You know, keep in mind, you know, his, his former CLG brethren, the Cat and them, they used to look together, man. I remember many a training stream between these two guys. Oh, yeah. You know, the ignorance is certainly not there. It's just best Ness is just... You ever see somebody who just plays like they just know that they can win at any given time? Yeah. That's best Ness, right? I mean, he's got the confidence. And that says a lot for somebody who you don't see at these premier events, uh, you know, a lot. Mm-hmm. So big ups to him. He is holding it down right now. Void's just struggling to get this first stock off. Best Ness has done such a good job at preserving it. At the same time, just racking up that damage. This lead, very, very impressive. All right, and at this point in time, man, Best Ness already kind of got Void at a threatened percent here on his last stock, while Void still not able to find uh, that uh, big hit to get that first stock off. However, I mean, like, at this point, at this point in time, this is a clean back throw. Back throw from anyone on the stage, he's dead. Free. Best Ness most likely going to be looking for that. Possibly even an up air. You saw it come out, but Void able to yep. get the forward air out before the hitbox registered. Would have been a terrible trade. I'm telling you. Best Ness, they're just trying to bait out a little bit of a reaction from Void to respond. Looks like he dropped the bear. All right. So this is where, you know, those trademark Void combos, you're going to hope those come into effect if you're a Void fan because he has a lot of it. damage to make up and he is not going to get the opportunity. Tries to touch that moving platform, but the only thing touching him, the best in his hands, baby. Yeah. Hit him with that, hit him with that straight up side wave right there with the forward air. And I mean, I was not expecting to be uh, blast off the side like that. I mean, I know he had a lot of damage, but I also feel like he might have been holding right, probably expecting to hit the platform and then immediately run off. But he was, he was too late. Too I wonder late. if we'll, I don't know if we'll uh, maybe get a consideration of a character switch from Void. I mean, that would be interesting to see. Right? Haven't seen it in a bit. It's, but I do remember seeing his fox. Yeah, I do remember his fox, and I, do, I remember uh, watching his stream not too long ago. He's been practicing uh, some ZSS as well. I believe he actually took that character to some locals, but perhaps not the confidence invested in her just quite yet. Or maybe he's just like, you know what, that was a bad game. But uh, as always, like I like to say, game one never determines how the set finishes off. So Void looking to change his luck in this second competition off the town and city we go. Yeah, speaking of investments, can we talk about the fact they got Bose headset up there, man? Are those Bose, really? Bose headset. Yeah, man. Okay, Bose. All right, man. Okay, I'm, ESA. I'm, I'm, I'm used to skull games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, like, <laughs> we done yeah. stepped up. Use some high brace top fingers, man. <laughs> a million of those around. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this time around, Best Ness not getting the percent lead that he had on to Void, but he still managed to fight his way right back. Every time Void gets a hit, it does not seem to matter. Mm. Right. Yeah, trying to go for some offstage shenanigans. Okay, Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, what he was looking for probably yep. earlier. On it. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, he's done. That was not a, 
even the explosion. Bro, that was the yo-yo trick, man. That was walking <laughs> dog, man. He took, took a page right out of Ness's book. Like, hey, that I was, see you got the yo-yo, but check me out. I'm saying, man. That was actually OD. <laughs> well done to Void. That's, that right there is just using all your tools. Yeah, exactly. You know, of course, he probably could have ran out there and threw a needle as well. But, like, using the grenade and not even the blast of the grenade, just the actual grenade hitbox. Smart. I appreciate Boy just being fully aware of the fact that, you know, we're doing replays for this. I got to give him some highlights. <laughs> I got I to gotta give production something, man. And production appreciates you, baby. As do your fans in the lead, though, getting slowed down just for a minute. The up air, very timely on the part of Best Nest, keeping himself very much so in this very uh, timely. set. Such a huge hitbox. Yeah, potentially, again, potentially working on that 2 0 victory. Don't think it can happen, man. Yeah. All right, man. This time around. Okay, gets That's the nice. needles into yep. the bouncing fish. And yeah, nice. such an easy confirm right there for Void. Takes that second game, no remorse. And that's those situations when Void can get you in, he does not falter. He does not fail to execute perfectly. It's just, you know, Best Nest did such a tremendous job avoiding all those situations in the first game and made it that much more difficult. Make sure you follow that man at Best Nest underscore. Might be two underscores right there. That's a little long. Yeah, that's one. It's so pretty long. If you don't get him on the first one, <laughs> just, just type that second one. He'll be out. He'll be out. <laughs> He's so, probably the only best Ness out there, man. I'm right. trying to figure out why he had to put the underscore. Like, who, who's out here with the best Ness <laughs> tag? They probably isn't even the Smashers. I'm just taking right. that. I'm just taking that. I like Earthbound. I'm yeah. like, all right, man. Hey. Anyway. I never played the series, but it seems compelling. <laughs> all right, as is best Ness as we head to this game number three. Knotted up one apiece here, guys. Hashtag coming through, and Boyd doing a much better job at just looks like reacting these aerials from Best Ness. Yeah. Man. All right. Looking for the grab there, not able to get it, but he's still moving. I mean, like, look at the movement between both of these players, too. I mean, they're always kind of baiting out what they're trying to do. You see some dash stutter steps here from uh, Boy. You see some Best Ness side magnet usage to stall his, you know, his descent. Right. I like it. Yeah, I like what Boyd is doing, too. A lot of weaving in and out. And now already got Best Ness off the stage. Mm, okay. Now, I like the fact that he stayed in the same area too, knowing that Best Ness is gonna, you know, recover two super wow. in, but does get the sweet spot of the up smash 115. You know, she does have some, uh, sometimes has a hard time killing, but that is not one of the moves that attributes to everyone saying that that up smash is super strong. Yeah, that that was so good. Like just kind of his positioning on that, almost ran forward just to cover him, just in case he went behind. Really avoid leaving nothing to chance on that play, and he has given himself a tremendous lead for this third and final game. Best Ness kind of unraveling here, despite a very strong win in the first game. All right, moving himself back onto stage, takes the dash attack, but not doesn't get hit by the last hit, so he does not pop into the air. 80% here on Void. Best Ness, mm. not too far behind. Not at all. Oh, okay, smart roll. Catches him, dash attack. Nicely done, best Ness, far from out of this. Boy just trying to get on whatever damage he can. And it right. is starting to add up, 51%, make it 59. Yeah. Can I get 60? Nah, not yet. Well, it's close. Not yet. I'm probably about 65 right there if you <laughs> hit that uh, f tilt. so. So now you can kind of see Void not really pushing his advantage as hard as uh, one would probably expect. He's still going to play the patient games. He knows he has the lead. Doesn't need to do anything reckless. Doesn't want to give uh, Best Ness an opportunity to get himself back to the game. So, yeah, hey, not at all. Yeah, very smart from him right there. I mean, you can keep seeing some of the trades too, but none of these trades are leading to Boy losing his stock. So, just a little damage here and there. And as long as he can continue to add the damage up, he should be able to get a stock so, uh, sooner than later. But also, even if he does get the stock, he's already got Best Ness past 100%. That is some threatening. Mm -hmm. However, the stock is gone, and there it is, Void bringing it back. I mean. That first game from Best Ness was looking straight into his favor, but Void, you know, buckled down. Yep. Remember how to play against Ness as well. We say, you know, that practice that he probably alluded back to from playing the cat all yeah, those times. Just that, thought it up. That, ma that matters a lot, back. man. So, but, but, you know, big ups to Best Ness. Came out the gate swinging, just could not maintain.